Hey everybody out there, uh, it's Emilio here, just shooting a quick video. If you haven't been following me, I had done a Kickstarter recently. It was my very first Kickstarter uh, and Groovebox Studios in Detroit. They helped me launch it and uh, they gave me a lot of good tips and a lot of good, um, not tricks, but just really cool ideas uh, to, you know, for the rewards and the way to market the Kickstarter. So I just wanted to shoot this video and show you some of the stuff that I did. And if anybody out there has a Kickstarter, then uh, maybe you could use the same methods or maybe see my ideas and kind of elaborate on it a little better. So anyways, here are two things that I did. Okay, the first thing that I did for the Kickstarter was um, I had to come up with ideas for rewards. And um, one idea that they had suggested really works well. Uh, they do a mystery box, which is really cool. So I had to come up with a box, and they were like, you know what, you could use a shoe box, you could use like a gift box, anything like that. But when you put in the gift box, you put in special items like CDs, signed material, stickers, buttons, letters, maybe uh, coasters from or set lists or whatever. I don't know, anything you want, you can put in there. And that was a good idea for rewards. So what I did was I didn't want to really do a shoe box. What I could have done was to do a shoe box and kind of like dress up the outside of it and put like art on it. But what I decided to do was um, was a cigar box. So I went to the local cigar box shop and uh, they're just giving this stuff away. This was free, so I didn't even have to pay for this. I actually got really two cool ones over here. Check this one out. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They're weight. They're, they feel cool. They're kind of heavy and I'll use it for something later. But these are free. They were giving them away. You know, Ashton. So you could even use this for your merch table. You know, you could put CDs in here, buttons or stickers, or whatever. So, uh, you know, use them for storage boxes. But, um, so that's why I took these extra two. But this one, you know, I mean, what I did in here was I put my sticker in here. Branding! <laughs> but uh, I put the sticker in there. Um, I found some really old flyers. The person that bought this, I actually know them for a couple of years. So um, I put some this is some stickers in here, some flyers from around the shows that I've done around town, buttons. Let's see, an old promo card from a band I was in that she really liked. Some old flyers, really old flyers, man. These are like seven years old. But I thought it was cool when I found them. This is the set list from the session that I had at Groovebox Studios. And if you guys want to see the session, I have a, I'm have going to put a link in the description. If you want to check it out and see what they did and why I raised the money, I raised the money to afford the recording and the live video performance. Some more flyers. I got gave them some CDs. I signed the CDs. And then I put like a note. I just said thank you very much. And I did the same thing on there. So... That's one idea. That that was the mystery box that I did. Give that to them. And they could use the box later for whatever. I mean, hopefully they're not like, oh, cigars, I hate cigars. That's like the one thing I hate. But Anyways, the next thing that I did was uh, a custom plaque. And again, um, I was going to put just like random paraphernalia in there, like a poster, some flyers and stuff. But again, the person that um, bought this reward and helped me with the Kickstarter. I've known for a really long time and they've helped me out with um, a lot of my music. So what I did was I had an 1117 poster. Um, by the way, disc makers, they usually have sales and these um, for these uh, posters, they'll sell like for 60 bucks, they'll give you like 100 11 by 17 posters. They're really good quality and it's like 60 cents with shipping and it'll come out to like 70 cents a poster. Looks better than anything from Kinko. So um, I'll use these when I go on tour. I'll send it to like the bar and I'll kind of just put it in town. I'm going to put the two CDs in here. Um, oh crap, I forgot to sign them. Oh, oops. <laughs> Should have signed them. But um, he has a lot of my signatures anyways. I put a note here um, for him, personalized note. Um, also, the pictures, um, these were from like some photo shoots that he helped me with. We took pictures at shows and I put them in there. And this frame I got from Ikea for like five bucks. I mean, it's a solid frame, it's not super cheap. Um, you know, but it just didn't cost a lot, and it looks pretty good. And that was another reward that I had come up with. And those are two uh, two ideas. So those were two ideas that I had for Kickstarter. I did other things like um, a house concert. 
Uh, also, uh, for the house concert, I said that I'd cook a meal and bring it to the house concert. And those are the, like, the higher ticket items. There's a bunch of other stuff um, that you can come up with. I actually uh, run a website called musicians-journey.com and I posted an article uh, a few months ago about someone that did a uh, Kickstarter campaign and pretty much it's the more creative you get the better and also the more interaction that you have with the fans. You know, you got to make them feel like they're part of the process. And he had some really good ideas in his article. So if you go to musicians-journey.com, go in the search field and just type in Kickstarter, you'll see it. There's going there's to be like a number of articles coming up. And just click on that and check out some of his ideas. Um, but again, make sure that the fan, they're part of the process of all this. You know, you're not in this by yourself. They are helping you further your career. So I also did things where I would sit down with someone and we'd go over like their story or, you know, a part of their life and then we would write a song together. I haven't done that one yet, but someone did buy that, so I'm going to be working on someone with that. Another thing was like if you have a cover song that you really like, let me know the cover song and then um, I'll uh, perform the cover song, I'll put it on my YouTube channel, I'll do it at a show and they can see it on my YouTube channel. So that was a good idea. Again, there's a lot of good ideas in that one article and just make sure that the fan is part of the process and they're part of the, you know, they're there for, for you, um, helping you, so it's good to give back to them. And uh, that's it. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you do like the video, you know, comment on it. Let me know uh, how your Kickstarter's going. And, uh, you know, just, uh, I gotta stop saying yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm still learning how to talk to the camera. But I'm getting better, I'm getting better. So, you know, comment, you know, share the video, and um, I will see you guys later.